everyone! For today's video, we're going to study measures of capacity. This soda tastes very yummy! Do you want one, Eloisa? I'd rather drink water than soda, princess. This is much healthier. How could that be? Water is colorless and tasteless. It's a boring drink. Did you know that drinking water helps our skin looking good and the organs in our body working well? Without water, our skin will get dry and we will feel weaker. Eloisa's family owns a water station. They sell and deliver water in different sizes of containers. Eloisa and her siblings have their own chores to help. Which water container do you think can hold more amount of liquid? Which can hold less amount of liquid? Very good! Container A can hold less liquid than container B. Capacity is the amount of liquid that a container can hold. We have what you call the milliliter or ml and liter or l. Milliliter is a unit used to measure small amount of liquid, while liter it is a unit used to measure large amount of liquid. Let's have an example of containers that can hold small amount of liquid for milliliter. We have teaspoon, a dropper, a small bottle, syringe, and sachet. These are some examples of container that can hold small amount of liquid. Let's proceed now to the container that can hold large amount of liquid for liters. We have the tank, gallons, pitcher, or even swimming pool. These are some examples of containers that can hold large amount of liquid. So now, children, I want you to help me to give the more appropriate unit of measure. Let's have the first one. Water in the bathtub. Is it liter or milliliter? Very good! We're going to use liter for this since this is a large amount of liquid. How about if we have this? Coffee in the teacup. Is it milliliter or liter? Very good children! We're going to use milliliter since this is just a small amount of liquid. How about this one? Water in the drum. Is it liter or milliliter? Fantastic! We're going to use liter for this. How about this one? Pail of water. Good job, children! This is liter. How about this one? Alcohol spray. Very good! This is milliliter. Always remember, children, that in every one liter, we have 1,000 milliliter. So what if we have 5 liters? How many milliliters do we have? Good job! We have 5,000 milliliters. How about if we have this? 10 liters. How many milliliters do we have? Good job! We're going to have 10,000 milliliters. How about this one? 7,000 milliliters. How many liters do we have? Very good, children! We have 7 liters. How about if you have this? 12,000 milliliter is equal to how many liters? Fantastic! We have 12 liters. How about this one? 9 liters is equal to how many milliliter? Very good! We have 9,000 milliliters. How about this one? 20,000 milliliters is equal to how many liters? Good job, children! We have 20 liters. So now, let's identify the more appropriate measure of capacity of the given item. Are you ready? 
Let's have the first one. Alcohol spray. Is it 20 milliliters or just 1 liter? Very good children! This is 1 liter. How about this one? Bucket of paint. Is it 500 milliliter or 5 liters? Fantastic! This is 5 liters. How about this one? Teaspoon of honey. Is it 5 milliliters or 1 liter? Very good! This is 5 milliliters. How about this one? Perfume. Is it 300 milliliter or 3 liters? Fantastic! This is just 300 milliliters. How about this one? Lotion. Is it 100 milliliters or 1 liter? Good job, children! This is 1 liter. How about this one? Apple juice. Is it 250 ml or 7 liter? Very good! This is 250 ml. Always remember children, capacity is the amount of liquid that a container can hold. We have the milliliter and liter. Milliliter is the unit used to measure small amount of liquid. While liter, it is a unit used to measure large amount of liquid. And remember, in every 1 liter, we have 1000 milliliter.